After completing this lesson, you'll be able to generate an STL file for 3D printing the socket design at one-to-one -one scale. Our second 3D print software tutorial focuses on 3D printing the Humore prosthetic socket at one-to-one -one scale. To do this, we need to open up a file in the dataset entitled Socket 3D Print. Then go to the File menu and select File 3D Print. This opens up a 3D print dialog window. In the window, we can preview the mesh if we wish, and we can set the refinement levels. There are presets for low, medium and high, and we can toggle between these. We also have some refinement options, and we can change the normal deviation, the surface deviation, the maximum edge length, or the aspect ratio. If we toggle between the preset refinement options, we can see that it also changes the normal deviation. So for example, from high to medium, the deviation changes from 10 to 15. And then from medium to low, the normal deviation changes from 15 to 30. So for the moment, let's choose high for refinement. When we've made our refinement option choices, to output as an STL file, we just need to uncheck Send to 3D Print Utility, select our model that we want to print, and then click OK. When we've done this, we need to choose a location to save our new STL file, give it a name, and then click Save. And that's the STL file generated for 3D printing. Now all you need to do is open that file in your 3D printing slicer software. And this is all we need to do to create a one-to-one -one scale STL file for 3D printing in Fusion 360.